Welcome to Research Business Daily Report, made possible by our exclusive community at Patreon. I'm Bob Lederer. I promise detail from this past Monday's meeting of the Coalition for Advancing Sampling Excellence for URRBDR viewers, but while there was an agreed-upon cone of silence about specifics that were discussed at the meeting, I would like to offer a few impressions. Fifteen client-side research department heads were scheduled to attend, and that was among the 60 all told who could fit into the room. Not all the client researchers did show up. That was not actually a big surprise, although there were several noteworthy people that did not show. But no matter how you look at it, that is unfortunate, because obviously there will be no sample improvement in the industry unless clients understand the myriad problems that have popped up since the last industry data quality initiative was completed, and that was from the ARF at the beginning of this decade. And it's crucial for everyone in research to comprehend and to acknowledge the daunting number of changes that are related to sample that have taken place since the turn of the decade and the few responses that have taken place with it. Now, there's a reasonable belief that fixing what's wrong with sampling on these diverse levels cannot and will not occur without some upcharges on those samples. Right now, it is no exaggeration to suggest that well over 90% of clients would not agree to that for almost any reason, including, I believe, bulletproof evidence of the enormous impact of making potential improvements. Even more important up front, it is fair to say that an overbearing percentage of client researchers are paying scant, if any, attention to the sampling problems that exist. They are simply far too busy managing their departments, and besides, they are fully expecting their research agency vendors to handle any research project problems, including sampling. Thus, the deteriorated condition of sample is not on their radar screen. Now, I can tell you that progress was made on Monday. However, as I told you, the collective group has really decided to clam up about it. If the research industry as a whole, however, does not coalesce and deliver a message that can capture the attention of clients and that is so persuasive that their undivided attention is earned, well, the as yet unspecified but also necessary changes in sampling will just never develop. They will die on the vine. I left Monday's ASEC session cautiously optimistic, but with a mixed feeling of I'm from Missouri show me. If you're a client researcher, if you're friends with one, or if you are a highly appreciated and respected client vendor, I hope that you will look into what the Coalition for Advancing Sampling Excellence is up to. Educate yourself about it. and Begin to prepare to emphasize the importance of this work to clients wherever they may be. It's that important. That's your Research Business Daily Report which has been made possible today and this week by members of our exclusive community on the crowdfunding platform, patreon.com. Our special thanks to all of our current patrons who have recognized the value that RBDR brings to conversations in the industry, and they have decided to make it possible for RBDR to continue to help them as well as the industry. Now, if you're interested in joining our community, and we hope and feel you should be, And if you'd like to gain access to exclusive RBDR perks and services from RFL Communications, well, visit patreon.com forward slash RBDR. You don't have to be a large research operation to be heard. You can see that from the people who are already patrons. We hope that you'll become a patron today. Have a great research day and rest of your research week to our Jewish viewers. We say Chag Sameach. And a happy Easter to everyone else. And we will be back to see all of you on Monday.